Hello everyone, it's Mr. Punquist from Power Ammo Inbound, and today I want to talk about how strikes have changed, in my opinion, from D1 to D2. So from the outside, strikes, or at least just the one we got, the Inverted Spire, seem pretty much the same, or extremely close to D2. You start on a planet, you get some dialogue from characters, like Akora, Cade, Zavala, all the, all, the, all the usuals, and then you're off to do whatever tasks they tell you to do. Stop Cabal, stop the Vex, all that good stuff. But that's where I feel it changes just a little bit. So first off, the planets in Destiny 2 seem to pop and be filled with way more life than before in Destiny 1. Walking around Nessus, you can find pikes to ride, you can run into battlefields, which feel a lot different than the old skirmishes that happened in the uh, other strikes. For example, if you compare the Nexus strike beginning area with the little Vex vs. Fallen against the Cabal vs. Vex fight in the, the field area that happened on Nessus and the Inverted Spire, it feels completely different. It feels like a full-on war happening right in front of your eyes, two sides clashing together as you just run through. But in Destiny 1, it just kind of felt like they were just kind of there. I don't know, maybe I'm just used to it after being in that area for so long, it just doesn't feel as exciting, but in Nessius it feels like an actual fight is broken out, and it's just going to town on that poor planet. Seeing the giant holes that were dug into the ground by our probably Cabal artillery as the Vex fight to protect their cargo, which is that giant mind that we fight at the end of the game, it feels like an alive, breathing game that's happening all around you at once, and that's honestly really cool. The strikes also feel way more dynamic. You got jumping from pits to pits, like with little jumping puzzles you get from the Volta glass you got flying past vex milk waterfalls with jumping from from rock side to rock side these huge ass mountain cliffs mountain cliffs mountains uh, that you get to like run past and go over these super deep canyons that you run through and have to jump between like it feels amazing you can blow up ships now that drop off enemies finally which is an amazing feature that i feel like they should have added a long time ago so you see a cabal ship dropping off stuff you can blow them up it's amazing honestly one of the best features in my opinion i like the fact you get to blow up their stuff it's amazing also who can forget the gigantic drills which you have to like jump and run through to get past so you can get to the next area super dynamic I uh, ended up dying to those a lot more than I did enemies though which might be a little problem there's a lot of environmental hazards that might be a problem in other strikes but you never know and one of my favorite things personally is you're hiding behind cover shooting at the boss pick taking pot shots and suddenly you look behind you look around and your cover is completely gone and you fall into a whole different area that is one of the coolest things in the in the whole strike in my opinion I love the fact you can just completely change the arenas in the middle of a fight happens three times pretty awesome final part with all the vex milk around you pretty cool in my opinion just like a totally new like area of fighting a boss and the bosses are more dynamic now too you see them running around you and teleporting like into where you're standing which is something that almost never happened in a d1 strikes they feel like they're always in your face always attacking you and in my opinion just from the beta there don't seem to be as many ads in these fights anymore it seems like it's really just the boss and you and little like burst of, of uh, ads coming at you which I personally enjoy because I always felt like Destiny's plan of making a game hard was to just throw as many ads as you as possible. But again, that could change when Destiny 2 comes out and we see all the strikes. But still, I really like that. And not just the strikes in my opinion. Even the story missions feel a lot more dynamic. Like you're running through the burned out tower while it's under siege with a cabal. And you have to jump and traverse through cabal shifts, which give you that awesome like taking over, like trying to fight back sort of feel like a resistance fighter. I don't know. I like how you change in just the first mission, you change from the tower being burned out to a cabal ship. In a matter of what like five minutes like that's that's really cool you're really switching up locations a lot in the missions and i hope that sticks too i hope you get a lot of cool like dynamic locations when the actual game comes out in the campaign that'd be that'd be pretty awesome but sadly even though there are some pretty awesome features there are also some kind of gross little ugly bugs from destiny one's past uh, like for example without the constant sniper shots that you had in d1 and the bosses who like to run track around the entire arena while you're fighting them the fights feel painfully long and you tend to run out of ammo pretty gosh darn fast but overall I think I love the beta's PvE feel. Uh, the story is super interesting, and I honestly would like to destroy Gaul now that I've seen the, the final cutscene before the uh, homecoming mission ends. That shit hits me right here, pointing at my heart. It hurt seeing your ghost fall behind you and like seeing the light come out. Oh god, it was so it was emotional. It was pretty crazy, and I'm really excited to see where they take that story because that this is gonna be it's gonna be a good it's gonna be a good story. I feel I, I hope. I hope I'm not wrong, but I guess we'll see in like six months. The strikes are fun and dynamic, uh, and they also have a much different feel from D1, at least to me, right now, assuming all the strikes are similar. Again, six months from now, I could be completely wrong. And the new gun type changes, I like a lot also, because having elemental primaries still makes me happy, because I love elemental primaries, I'm a huge fan of them. And it looks like you can change your element on the go, maybe? That was in the inventory, if you go to inventory, you can choose what kind of element they have, kind of. 
or has a, a slot for it so that'd be even better honestly like if you could switch it out before like strikes and missions and stuff oh my god that'd be amazing i i love that idea uh but really all they need to do for me is increase is maybe increase the cooldown times for uh supers and grenades and melees and stuff and give us more ammo so we can take down the uh, bosses faster and then this would be a solid pve experience well more solid it'd be like icing on the cake basically because this pve is is rocking right now for me but anyways that's my opinion on the pve uh this is mr punquist from power ammo inbound signing out and i can't wait to see this in nine months when all my opinions are completely outdated or wrong because something else changed so i'll see you guys next time